Hello everybody, my name is Marius, I'm from Riverside, I, I sing and I play the bass, uh, sometimes I play the guitar too, and i um, right now in uh, Helsinki, and uh, not story venue, which is really great, and... Our trip to Helsinki was really great because we had the day off on the ferry so we could take some sleep and um, so far as far as I know it's it's sunny day so it's also a really nice atmosphere outside and we feel great Wasteland Tour is really great uh, tour for us this is actually the second leg of this tour because the first one is a uh, it was in October, October, November, and we wish we could come to Helsinki earlier. I don't know why we did so late, um, did it so late, but we came anyway, and uh, we're really looking forward to, to play tonight. I think we connected with the, the new album, we kind of connected the old Riverside with the new Riverside, because uh, with Shrine of New Generation Slaves and Love Fear and the Time Machine albums, we went into a different direction a bit. More mellow, more melancholic, less heavy. And our shows were also like this. But uh, now we kind of... Um, we took this dark melancholy and a bit of heaviness uh, from the previous albums uh, into our set list and connected this with uh, Wasteland uh, songs and other compositions. And uh, so far, I think this is the best set list that we have ever heard. And uh, we can entertain people as never before. And we have a better interaction with the audience. Maybe that's because I, I've changed. Maybe because we've changed, I don't know. But so far, it's, it's, it is one of our best tours, that's for sure. It's all about the flow, actually, to be honest. This is just like the same with uh, the album track compositions. Uh, composition. I mean, uh, you're just picking the songs for the beginning, you're just uh, doing something for the middle part, you're just uh, uh, trying to compose the song that it's like, uh, I don't know, the big battle in the movie, you know, the last turning point, the grand final. <clears throat> and the same is uh, during the show. You need to remember that this is not just like the best off, this is just you need to know when you should slow down, you need to know when you should build up the atmosphere. And it, actually it's not hard for me. Uh, I, I, I think I can make this uh, both on our albums and during our shows to create the atmosphere that you have two hours of the show and it goes like this. Mm -hmm. So f for sure this tour it's like this. In the past, maybe there were moments when people were searching, <laughs> searching, you know, uh, two hours more. No, I, I didn't notice that kind of, I didn't notice that kind of things during the Wasteland tour so far. I'm, we are so happy when we have young audience, younger audience, and uh, they are countries, there are places where the, the audience is mixed. I mean the whole generation are coming to see us. I don't know what happened in France because uh, we, we've been uh, the Balkan tour that we played at the very beginning of this leg of the tour it was great because there were everybody, you could see everybody and uh, it was not like the prog fan or something, you know, nice girls, nice guys, old prog guys, a young prong guys, that kind of stuff. Everything is mixed, but in France, we've got like 20, I don't know, I think 200 or something. We played in Toulouse. 
and I remember this this first difference like 250 guys are staring at me all in proc t-shirts and I don't know four girls only they were just <laughs> where we are I don't know what's happened there but we, we should work in France by the way France we're coming for you so um, but uh, in general we've noticed that uh, we have more younger audience which is great because we feel younger too <laughs> It's just that way of attitude and I think that um, with Riverside we would love to be that kind of band who can be a prog band not for the prog heads you know those strict the guys with tunnel vision that they always have to have this Steve Hackett playing solo at the end of, of, of this um, no offense of course uh, but we can also deliver something uh, which is uh, kind of fresh modern whatever and actually we kind of struggling with this progressive term, progressive title, because it means that we are sort of the band that plays for these, you know, 250 people with this, those t-shirts looking for some shredding guitar solos, but we're not the kind of band, that, that's for sure. Great, you know, we just, this, we, I don't remember if it ever, maybe with Under the Mini High Definition we played the entire album. But never before, but right now we play just like the album in its entirety and, uh, and the rest. And I didn't, ex I didn't see the reactions like, mm, you should play more old stuff and less new ones. No, people really love a Wasteland, especially um, when it comes to singing together, you know, during the shows, this is really great. So, so far, for, from what I hear, people really love our new album. For many people, this is one of the best because uh, we kind of marked our style there. So we are not. In the past, we've been like Polish edition of the band X, Polish edition of the band Z, Y, whatever. But now it's really hard to say that. Uh, we sound like any other prog band, you know. We've got now kind of, I don't know, Nick Cave approach even, so it's really hard to say that Riverside sounds like Nick Cave, right? Because it's totally different musical yeah. words. So maybe that's why uh, the critics and the, the audience are saying with the one, one, one voice uh, right now. I like his nature. Well, Guardian Angel, Guardian, Guardian Angel, has a working title, Kate, and because of the low voice, right? Yeah. Because I was singing that way, and I was <laughs> talking that way. I can all, all can talk that way if you want to, but, but this is not my natural. Or maybe now it became my natural voice. But anyway, um, Nick Cave. Uh, I'm not very into his old albums, but I fi found him uh, kind of. Uh, I'm finding him really like he's a truly artist, you know, for me. And um, I love his soul and his honesty and his modesty. And um, and uh, there was something like probably Skeleton Tree also kind of uh, took me in, into him because I I've seen his show and I was really surprised about his reaction with the audience and everything it was just like the ritual kind of yeah. full of magic so yeah he became one of my heroes these days that's for sure maybe because uh, of his consequence with uh, everything he does and uh, but uh, uh, you know uh, that was one of the inspirations for Wasteland even yeah I, I can say that but uh, then my singing lower lower singing uh, on the wasteland is not because of Nick Cave, it's because uh, um, of my vocal lessons. Because I, <laughs> I remember that before the tour I went to the teacher and he, uh, he told me um, why, you, why you're not singing uh, with, uh, with the lower registers? Your voice sounds really nice in those registers, you should use that more often. Uh, you know, what, always when we rehearse and there's the music, I always try to I'm afraid, you know, be above the instruments and everything. Mm -hmm. But it, if it comes to the very, I'm sorry, if it comes to the very uh, um, 
melodic, I mean mellow songs, I can sing uh, more silent and more deep and with that kind of voice. So I tried to do that on Wasteland and it, I think it worked. Or is that something you will explore more in the future Def as definitely, well? Definitely, yeah, definitely. I, actually, I was kind of holding this. Uh, and I wanted to keep that for my, I don't know, maybe solo album to make it different than the others. But you, you, I don't know if it happens, I don't know, next year or within 10 years. So it's no time to hesitate, you know. We're getting old, <laughs> so, you know. Um, Life is brutal. So um, <laughs> now there was the opportunity to, to sing with a lower voice, so I, I made that. You know, for the, for the album, it was just like actually another solo album for me. Um, so I mean, like, was that just like the third, show, third album in a row after two previous Lunatic Souls? But of course, it had to be Riverside. So Michal and, uh, and uh, Piotrek uh, should be involved. And all these, uh, all these arrangements and everything uh, that we did, we did as a band. Plus, Michael, uh, Michal brought uh, the, um, his, his song. So we, we made it together and um, with all these band influences. Uh, but uh, you know, I, I could take care of the rest of the instruments, like, I don't know, rhythmic guitars and some other things, but uh, I, I didn't want to be a guitar player, you know, like, okay, so my ego is so big that I have to play everything. No, that's, we've got, for instance, Machi, who plays the shows with us, mm -hmm. he can play the, the guitar solos, right? Um, but uh, we didn't, uh, there was no need to bring another guy on board and create the music, you know. Not this time, because we wanted to do the album from the perspective of people who survived at the end of the world. And that was three of us. Uh, but uh, I'm kind of open for the future. So maybe, you know, Riverside is recorded live, or even sometimes you can see five people on the stage. Um, but uh, not in the studio yet. But maybe in the studio one day we will become quartered again. Yes, definitely. I think Wasteland Tour is a big proof. Um, how we behave on stage, how people re react, how the new songs work. And um, I think that's the proof that we did good, that we decided to carry on. And uh, I think that um, uh, recently, because I also have, uh, which is, I, I'm, I'm mentioning that because it's really important for Riverside too. I've got my solo project, Lunatic Soul. And I know that um, with the last albums, I kind of did the most Riverside-ish Lunatic Soul and the most Lunatic Soul-ish Riverside in my career. So definitely I need to spit it out more, split it somehow and create Lunatic Soul push more into this folk oriental di direction and Riverside should be more uh, like like we are live you know like we uh, like like the music we, we can present uh, when we are on stage so probably we'll go more into this direction and in sort of we'll go back to to the first decade of our activity so I definitely think about a new album already I think that after this apocalypse, it should be something about the city, maybe the city, um, overcrowded city, I don't know. Um, I was thinking even of something connected with cyberpunk, but I'm not sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's on the way and um, definitely there will be another chapter. Seriously, I, well, I, you know, I'm, I try to be aesthetic and I think I've got the boundaries also. There are boundaries like, I don't know, here we have a, um, not sure if it, if you can see that. Here we, I, I've got the melodic songs, just normal songs, right? And here I've got this electronic music. And here, I don't know, oriental things. Here some heavy stuff. I never pushed the 
a heaviness barrier that uh, there was lack of melodies that I just uh, over -he heavy this whatever how whatever, okay I can sound this I always pay attention to the melodies here I never crossed this into some pop direction here I never crossed it into the techno or, or, or something mm -hmm. and here I never wanted to do this classic oriental music like you know the music from Istanbul streets if you know what I mean or for Haza and stuff like that uh, so uh, I have these limit, limits, I've got these limits that help me very much to uh, create my musical world even if there's lots of diversity, you know, because I, I think that I shouldn't cross this line. And it's not true that, uh, that it's something in common with uh, li limi limits. Mm -hmm. but not crossing the line doesn't mean that you've got limits. Doing everything, it means like you do nothing. You know, sometimes if you just do too much, I, for instance, I'm not a huge fan of Frank Zappa. I'm not a huge fan of Frank Zappa. Of course, I adore his few albums and few songs, but for, for me it was too much sometimes. I know for many people it's just like, wow, that's the brilliant thing of the music, right? You can do everything. But in my opinion, you should create your own style and you should find your own shell, your own gap and explore it, right? sometimes do this wider, that kind of stuff, but never do everything. Because uh, doing everything means that you do nothing. I don't think so. I don't regret my past um, behaviors or the things that I've done, because I believe that thanks to them I'm here, right here, right now. Um, I could change some songs. I could change something, maybe, I don't know, I could sing this song in a different way, wrote better lyrics for this one, and, but that, that's the small things, you know, it's not important things. Even if I have this, okay, I did something personally, right? Maybe I spent too much time with someone in my private life. But on the other hand, if I changed something in the, in the past, the future would look differently. And I'm really happy where I am right now. And I feel happy, so I don't regret anything. Lunatic Soul 7, Riverside 8, probably something under my own name, that's from the musical point of view. Um, preparing for the better show and tour and for, for, with Riverside, um, maybe something else, something spontaneously. I don't know that yet. I don't know, just come to see us tonight. Oh, uh, this interview will be after our probably finished show, so uh, you missed lots of good stuff during our tour. Next time, you should come definitely. Hello.